So for the longest time, I wondered like, why am I not successful? I would perform in restaurants and I would go table to table and I would perform as an entertainer. I would do these magic tricks for people. And, and I, I wanted to get more restaurants. So I would go door to door or more specifically restaurant to restaurant. I would literally take a bus because at the time I was 14, 15 years old. So I would take the bus to restaurants and I would ask to talk to the general manager. And so when I talked to the general manager, I would say like, hey, I'm an illusionist, would you be interested in bringing me in and performing for people table to table? People kept saying no, the GMs kept saying no, we're not interested. And it just happened nonstop, just over and over and over. And eventually I got a few of those. And with the restaurants, I, I thought to myself, you know what, I wanna take it up a notch. I wanna do more than just restaurants. And this was going on inside of the back of my mind, but um, for some reason I just didn't do it. And so one day, uh, it was almost like it was coordinated. I was performing at several restaurants and all of them just cut me. They all just let me go within the same weekend. I went in and one GM said, look Benji, we just can't afford to pay you anymore, but you can come for free. And, and all the, the restaurants cut me and I thought to myself like, okay, uh, well what's next? And, and at this point I said, okay, well I wanna do corporate work. I, that's where the money is, so let me, let me go into corporate. And as I decided to do corporate, I decided to cold call. So I would call people. I'm like, oh, would you be interested in hiring an entertainer, hiring an entertainer? I kept calling and calling and calling. Nobody was interested. So I sent emails, nobody was interested. Finally, I got a, a corporate gig. He said, yes, we're interested. And, and at the time I'm thinking, wow, this is great. This is a very big, well-known company. And, and I'm thinking, I'm, I'm good to go. I go in, I perform about 10, 15 minutes for, for their, their people. That way they can kind of see what I'll do at their bigger event. And they're, they're excited. They're like, oh great, we definitely want to bring you in. But a week goes by, two weeks go by. I don't hear anything from them. No contract, no deposit, nothing. And I'm thinking, what the world? Uh, eventually, the guy calls me and he says, look Benji, I'm sorry, but the CEO decided he's gonna go with this other guy because he's cheaper. Oh, wow, all right. And so th that's kind of what was happening throughout my entire career. Everything I tried to do, people just kept saying no, everything kept going wrong, but still I just called and called and I emailed and emailed and eventually it picked up. Eventually people said, okay, yes, we'll bring you in. Okay, yes, we'll bring you in. 5,000, 10,000, 20, 30,000 dollars for a presentation. I thought, yes. Finally, several guys asked me about my marketing. They said, how are you doing this? How, how are you getting these Fortune 500 companies to hire you? And I, I realized what it feels like to want to do something, but to not know how to do it. And so I started training these people in terms of their marketing. I said, here's how you market yourself. But it was a lot harder than I ever could have imagined. And I started building this online business, and when I built the online business, several things kept failing as well. I, I did a product launch, no one bought. I did another product launch, no one bought again. Uh, people just weren't buying my products, and, and I tried to sell, my websites went down, my website got hacked, I, I lost an entire website, Every, I literally had to start over from scratch. Everything just kept going wrong, but I was prepared for it because when I was building my entertainment business, everything kept going wrong and I think I just got numb to it. I got numb to the failure and it was just, okay, what, what's next? This, this, something bad happened, well, what's next? And so when I started doing this online business, all of a sudden, next thing I know, I just kept going and going and going and then I, I sold a product and I'm making $1,000 a month, then $2,000 a month, $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, $60,000 a month, $100,000 a month. I'm like, wow, this pretty cool. And, and I realized a lot of people said, Benji, like, what was it? What, what did it for you? What was the thing? What, what was the thing that made you successful? And I thought, and I said, you iterate your way to success. It's not any one thing. It's everything that combines into this thing that everyone calls success. And you iterate your way to it. The world is gonna test you. The world is gonna say, oh, this person has a dream. Let me test him. How bad does he really want it? He says he's got a dream. Well, let's throw a little pebble in front of him. Well, let's throw a little, little obstacle in his way. And then you kick the pebble and then it says, well, let's throw a little rock in his way this time. Oh, let's throw a big boulder in his way at this point. And the world's gonna keep testing you. It's gonna say, is this person really serious? How bad does he really want it? And, and you have to just keep going no matter how hard it is because it's gonna be a lot harder than you ever could have imagined. It's gonna take a lot longer than you ever could have imagined. 
But what has to happen is you have to say, I'm not going to dabble. When you dabble, you struggle. When you commit, you say, come hell or high water, I'm gonna figure this thing out. I don't care how hard it is. I don't care if I don't have time, I'm gonna figure out how to make time. I don't care if I don't have money, I'm gonna figure out how, how to make the money. I'm gonna figure out where to get it. I don't care, I don't care what happens. No excuses, no excuses, no reasons as to why I'm not going to make this thing happen. You figure it out. And so that's a state of mind that you have to be in. Everyone has a dream and the dream is free, but the reality is expensive. The reality is what you're paying for. The reality is you have to be extremely practical. The, the dream is what gets you started. The, the practicality is what gets you to the end. And, and I realized like once you get to a level where a lot of people consider it success and they say like, wow, you finally made it. That's amazing. In the back of your mind, you just smile and you say, just getting started.